Hello everybody, yeah. Woo woo. Hello everybody, welcome to the video. So my name is Owen Fox, as so many of you know, and in this video I want to say welcome and I'm just back from a 10 minute run and maybe 40 seconds point four because I did the stopwatch. I just did one long lap of my local little beautiful uh, forest trail. Um, there's multiple trails, but that's the one I just did today. And um, yeah, I guess so. In this video, I want to share with you what it means to be spiritual, and what it means, like what it doesn't mean to be spiritual. Like, so basically, what's on my mind is that wearing, wearing like fancy clothes, like wearing like um, symbols, like wearing a special hat, wearing special colors, like a white robe or purple attire or orange dress. None of this makes us spiritual like you know a lot of times our ego wants to appear fancy or special or to stand out or to be different and like you get a kick out of um, the individuality you know the, the uniqueness which of course is something special and beautiful to be celebrated but it can be it can be done from a place of a certain vibration or a higher vibration and that's not meaning to judge anyone of course like I'm not judging myself for when I was more like standing out sort of I am the clothes that I wear, like the clique or the group that I'm in, like this is what makes me spiritual. I'm in an ashram and I meditate or I'm a monk. Woo! I'm spiritual. Like none of that makes us, nobody spiritual or not spiritual. It's all irrelevant. It's not connected to the truth. The truth of what, what is or isn't spiritual is our the truth which is which is actually like you can it's 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 mathematical, it's more sort of measurable, it's like it's feelable, it's palpable. So what that is, is our energy, our frequency, our vibration and our consciousness. Those things are the truth. And that doesn't matter if we're walking barefoot, if we're naked in the forest, if we, if we meditate 10 hours a day or zero hours a day. Um, it doesn't, what we eat, it doesn't necessarily, is purely, it's not purely symbolized by what we eat or where we live. Although all of these things do make a difference in our frequency, energy, vibration and consciousness. But the biggest part is would be our clarity and purity and non-obstructiveness of our mind, our body, and our our aura and chakras and energy field. So that would be an, an ultimate determining factor of how sort of spiritual we are, how clear and how crystal, how crystal clear or pure we are, or how how obstructed and um, congested and heavy. So you can either be light, and that's what enlightening is. Enlightened is to be very light. Yay! We're, we're happy, we're joyful, we're like we're like a child. That's why it says, possibly in certain spiritual books, like to be like children again, because they're living in their divine connection, in the free flow of the moment, in love with life, in love with nature, in love with everything. They're connected, they're inquisitive, they're curious, they touch, they're not afraid, of like they're open to people. There's, they're not all in their mind with like programming which is the obstruction of like dense heavy ideas and belief systems like you're a different skin color than me you're a different nationality than me oh my goodness you're a different gender than me you're older and younger than me I can't talk to you therefore or you know all that sort of stuff that's obstructiveness and heaviness and density of the mind so that's where I made another massive video, well, 31 minutes, not that big. I could have, I actually know what I talked about in that video. I thought it was really great. I loved it. But I feel, that, of course, I could have talked more. But it happened to be in divine, perfect timing because the second I ended that video, there was a man coming knocking on my window. The second I looked, he was coming. Because <laughs> I was in the way of someone's driveway, kind of collecting spring water. Um, so, yeah, don't be fooled by the idea of, like, what it is to be spiritual, you know. Becky says, good, good, good celebrating. Yes, good celebrating. No morning here. I'm not morning anything, and I'm not wishing anyone a good morning. I'm wishing everyone a good celebrating. Good celebrating, my friends. That's it. Celebrate life every single day. So, yeah, it's wonderful just to look at the sky every single day. Be joyful and happy. Breathe, 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 you know, breathe the fresh air and love being out in nature. All of those things will make us feel so much more happier and lighter in our spirit. So yeah, everyone, that's it. Is there anything else? Anyone have any questions or comments? Um, please do share this video for other awakening, divine, prosperous souls to prosper and glow in their divinity even more without the sh big shadow, the cloud of their trauma and ego. <laughs> I used to be called um, Big Red Clown on the internet many years ago. I have a very, and my biggest archetype is entertainer. 
living in the moment, making fun out of ordinary life. And I definitely do like to be silly, as you can tell. But I have a very, very, very deep, serious side, which is where my, my passion, my purpose, and my calling come into play, my act of service to, to humanity. So it's nice having a balance. We all have balance of feminine and masculine energies, like, of everything. Life is dualistic on the earth, and the physical avatar soul suit. There's rest, there's activity, there's play, there's work, there's sleep, there's awake, there's here, there's there. So yeah, any questions or comments? Yep. Becky's sleeping at 4, 4.53 a.m., very nice. <laughs> so yeah, any, I'm just trying to think of anything else that strings my mind about spiritual, not spiritual. I think you get the gist, there's nothing else I need to say. You get the gist, my friends, I've expressed it. <laughs> Big big cloud from my body I'll add that to the description in the description of this video above okay so I'm gonna release this video on YouTube as well and um, thankfully it's nothing to be censored by the <laughs> by the dark clouds <laughs> bless them so uh, yeah do subscribe and uh, I'll see you again in another video so thanks for watching and have a beautiful day my friend loads of love have a beautiful day celebrate life enormously and you better, and if you don't, I'm coming to get you.